Hello you guys, it's Karina. For this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the process of how I made this shadow box. I had so much fun making it and this is how it turned out. I'm using Prima 31 Paper Collection by Frank Garcia. And I'm thinking about listing this on my Etsy. I'm not 100% sure yet, but if I do, I will link my shop down below. And I do have a few listings up right now. I made this memory dex card and this one. I also have these pumpkin rosettes. You'll be getting a total of eight, four bigger ones and four smaller ones. And they all vary in different orange um, colors. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly share with you some listings that I have up and I hope you guys check out my shop and on to the process video. So to start things off, I'm going to be painting my shadow box and I picked this up at Crafts Warehouse a while ago. It's pretty small, but just big enough for me to add like a little scene. So that's what I'm going to be doing and I do paint this white but end up using a pinkish color as you saw at the beginning of the video. So now I'm picking a pattern paper for my background. And I really love how this one looks with the orange stars. The other papers to me looked a little busy so I thought this one would be perfect and subtle. So now I'm gonna cut it down to size. And I do go off camera and I'm showing you that I did stitch the um, sides of my paper and it's funny because you can't really see it at the end of the project. You just see it popping out a little bit but um, I still like how it looked. Um, so now I'm going to tape my background paper onto the chipboard piece. And now we gotta decorate, so I'm just going through the ephemera packs. And what I like to do is use like the bigger ephemera pieces and use them as layering. Um, so I do choose these two bingo cards and I think I'm gonna stack them a little bit. And then I also liked that ephemera piece with the witch on it. And I think that's gonna be like the main piece. And to add a little more texture, I am going to be distressing the edges of the ephemera pieces. And now that I decided where I want my ephemera pieces, I'm going to be popping them up with some foam tape.
And off camera, I did use one of my dyes. It's this fence dye from Lawn Fawn that I picked up a few years ago. And I'm not sure if I wanted to keep it under the bingo cards or over, so I am playing around with that. And I found the perfect pink cardstock um, from my stash. Um, it matches really well with the paper collection. So I was really pleased with that. Um, that Haunted House is also a dye, and that one is a dye from AliExpress. And I wanted the Witch Girl to pop out a little more, and I love that in the journaling card set, it has a few of that same ephemera piece of the girl. So I do fussy cut her out, and I will be adding foam to it so she pops up a little more, since she's going to be like the main focus of my shadow box. And now I'm adding foam to the Haunted House. And I am going to add two foam layers to the Haunted House. So I really love this placement so far. I'm gonna add the fence now. So I use the foam tape again, and I use a few layers of that, and I'm gonna place this right on top of the haunted house. And I'm making sure that it's all evened out. Okay, so now to put the main piece on, um, I'm gonna add some foam tape, of course. And I didn't wanna use too much of that foam tape, so I grabbed a piece of foam and then just cut it into pieces, layered them on top, and then placed it right underneath the ephemera. And I'm going back through the ephemera pack because I wanted to add a lot more to my shadow box. I really like this cauldron, but I don't like how it's covering most of the background, especially the haunted house. Um, so off camera, I tear it apart a little bit and then move the house a little more to the side. And now you can see it more once I put the cauldron ephemera piece there. I love this little potion bottle and it fits well with the witchy theme that I'm going for. So I'm gonna add that as well as this adorable black cat. And on the other side, I'm gonna add this broomstick, the cute stack of pumpkins and the little spell book. Oh, and then also the um, moon. A quick test just to make sure that the shadow box fits perfectly once I put the top on and I did have to trim the fence just a little bit so I'm gonna put that aside for now and just like how I do with my shadow boxes I like to add crepe paper at the bottom and just wrinkle it up and add a few layers just to add some texture at the bottom and so it doesn't look so flat if that makes sense
And now that I'm finished with that, I'm going to be adding the rest of the ephemera. So I do have to keep checking to make sure everything is fitting perfectly inside the shadow box itself. Um, I did have to cut off the broom just a little bit on the top. So this is what it's looking like so far. I absolutely love it. Um, just to add a little more to my background, I die cut it out these um, cute little clouds. I love these little candy corns, so I'm going to be putting them on each end just to add a little more layering and a few more pieces to my shadow box. And now to add the girl, I do add a few layers of foam tape and I think it just makes a big difference um, when I decided to fussy cut her out and make her pop out from the ephemera itself and I really love how it looks. I die cut it out these cute little bats and I'm going to add those to the background as well and just place them in random spots. I decided to paint my box pink very last minute and I like it a lot better. I try to match it to the ephemera as much as possible. And I think I did pretty good. So for the outside of the box, I really wanted to use some of the flowers from the collection. So I'm just going to add a few on a few of the corners. And I always like to add a phrase or some type of sentiment from the collection. And I found this one from the chipboard stickers. It just says October 31st. This is the final project. I did make a few changes. I added some trim at the top and then placed my sentiment at the bottom. I decided to also add some of the um, spiderweb 
paper um, on the sides so I glued that on and I think it turned out amazing I absolutely love making shadow boxes I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out my Etsy shop down below thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video bye everyone